name Shrella Lee. I do DIYs for you on the cheap. I love to make things look high end, but at a really kind of like cheaper price. So I do my own little spin on things and give them a little twist and, you know, just make them look pretty. So today I'm gonna do something pretty simple that you've probably seen on here a million times. But again, I'm gonna add my own little twist to it. So I have a tea kettle right here because I am going to turn candle jars into beautiful plants that you can put around your house, you can put on a bookshelf. It's just limitless what you can do with this. I'm gonna take this out because these actually still have the wax in them. So I'm gonna show you how to get rid of all of this and I'm gonna take you through the process of what I do in order to turn these into beautiful flower holders, flower plant holders, and add some zhuzh to them and some luxury feel to them without breaking the bank. First thing I'm gonna do is fill up this tea kettle with water. I wanna make sure that I have enough water that I can fill up the four jars that I have ready to be worked on. I heated up the kettle on the stove for about 15 minutes. I wanted to make sure that the water was gonna be hot enough to melt as much wax as possible in those jars. So these are actually my mom's candle jars. She was gonna throw them away because she didn't know what to do with them. You know, these things are so cool. I feel like there's a lot that you can do with these. If you don't wanna put flowers in them, you can put Q-tips in them, cotton balls in them, you name it. I mean, there's all kind of uses that these have. If you don't wanna put any other kind of decor items in them, you know, they are very useful for other things. So I just think that these are great. And these little labels come off so super easy. Now, once I pour the water, this is gonna come off even easier, but for right now, because it came off so easy, you know, that was great. This came right off. So I didn't even have to pour the water. So while that's heating up, I'll give you a little bit of background about who I am. I have worked in design for about 20 years now. First company that I started was when, when I was a freshman in college. I started a company by the name of Dorm Room Designs and started designing dorm rooms for my fellow classmates. I love interior design. It's always been a passion of mine to work on designing spaces. You can have a beautiful home according to your own aesthetic and be your own person because at the end of the day, it's your space. And if you have bought that space or you're renting that space, you're probably paying a lot of money to live in that space. So it's important that you feel comfortable in that space. Now back to our regularly scheduled program. So I've got my candles all lined up here, ready to pour this hot water from the kettle into the jars to make sure that wax gets melted. So I filled up the jars pretty much to the top. You notice those little beads of oil start to condensate on the top of the water. I also figured I might as well take the label off while the jar is warm, and this makes the label so much easier to remove. It's been about an hour now, and as you can see, that wax has built up and is floating on top of the water in the jar. So it is going to be super easy to remove. I'm also going to show you a little trick on how to get that wax that's stuck to the bottom of the jar out in one single piece. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the jar in the microwave for 20 seconds. Now, I do not recommend putting the jar into the microwave for any longer than 20 seconds. I have to stress that. So when it comes out, it's gonna be a little bit warm, but not hot. You just need it to be a little warm. I'm gonna take these old tweezers that I use for all my arts and crafts that I got from the dollar store, absolutely love them. And I'm gonna stick them into the water and I'm gonna loosen up the wick section of the candle. Loosen those wicks as much as you can. And that's gonna start the wax at the bottom moving around. 
before you know it, the whole piece is going to end up loosening up. Trust me, I've done this several times and it works like a charm. And voila, there you have it, a clean glass jar. Now there still might be a little bit of residue left in this, but you can take some alcohol and wipe it out to make sure it's squeaky clean and ready to go for our next step in this process. I love the next step because this is now where we get to the good and fun part. So for this next step, I'll be using alcohol, styrofoam balls, which I got from the dollar store. Hi, Bella. <laughs> Multi-purpose cement that I also purchased from the dollar store. And crushed glass, which I also purchased from the dollar store. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the alcohol to make sure the glass is squeaky clean. I want to make sure that there's no leftover residue from the oil from the candle or from the label that's on the outside of the glass. So I just like to take this extra step just to make sure I'm going to get the best bond and also so the glass just looks presentable and pretty without any kind of residue left on it. Okay, so now that that looks good, we are ready to go. I really like this multi-purpose cement from the dollar store. I think that it does a great job in keeping things in place. I am always looking for glue that can provide a nice strong hold for all of my crafts and DIYs. And this glue does an excellent job. So what I do is I take and apply a nice thick layer of the cement to the bottom of the jar. I really wanna make sure there's a nice thick layer there so nothing moves and everything stays in place. Next, I'm going to take my pack of styrofoam balls. I love these because if you go to Michael's, these are like four bucks each, but for $1.25, you cannot go wrong. And they do the same thing. So why not save the money and just get them from the dollar store? So I take that ball and I put it right in the middle of the glass jar, right on top of the cement. I wanna make sure that it's stuck in there and it's not going anywhere. So one of my favorite things to decorate with is crushed glass. Oh my gosh, I can't tell you how excited I was when I saw that my local dollar store, yes, local dollar store sells crushed glass. So for $1.25, you get this pretty decent sized amount of crushed glass. And it's funny because today when I was at Michael's, I saw crushed glass for $11.99. Why not buy five packs of the crushed glass from the dollar store? Does the same thing, gives the same effect, and looks just as good. So I'm happy that I was able to save a couple of dollars with purchasing the crushed glass from my local dollar store. So that got me about halfway up this glass jar. I wanna keep on going to the top, so I'm gonna open another pack and add that as well. So I've got some reindeer moss as well, which I had no idea that they had at the dollar store either. Oh my gosh, reindeer moss is so expensive. Oh, it's so good to have a good dollar store. So I'm gonna fill up the rest of my jar with the crushed glass. And that looks so good. I absolutely love the fact that you cannot see the styrofoam ball. All you're gonna do is see that crushed glass around the whole jar, no matter what direction you hold it. I'm also going to top off the glass jar with some of that cement. And then 
I'm going to take my reindeer moss and put that at the top of the jar. Take a thin layer, not very much, and just spread that out across the top of my glass jar, across the crushed glass, and that top of that styrofoam ball. So now I'm going to take these flowers and put them into the styrofoam ball in the middle of our jar. Now this can be a little bit difficult at first, but with some maneuvering, uh, they eventually go in there and they'll stay in place pretty well. I like to take them apart if I have to, and then I'll take some glue and make sure that uh, they don't move from this position uh, that way they're locked in place and I don't have to worry about them coming apart in the future and they look good. So I'm going to work on these till I get them in the perfect position. Voila, there you go, they look great. So I also want to show you what this looks like with a black jar. Now for this project, I am not going to use the crushed glass because of course you can't see it, but it's the same kind of process. We're going to clean it with alcohol first because we've got that residue from the label that's all over the front of the jar. Just make sure it's squeaky clean and there's no leftover label residue. Once you get that label residue off, you also want to wipe out the inside of the jar just to make sure that there's no oil left over from the candle. You just want to get all those oils up and get the jar primed and ready for our multi-purpose cement. So now that our jar looks great and squeaky clean, it is ready for our multi-purpose cement. So we're going to do the same process that we just did with the clear jar. We're gonna take and apply a thick layer to the inside of the jar, just making sure that there's enough in there to make sure that our styrofoam ball can stick into the jar. We don't want it moving around. We're not using the glass. We want to make sure that that styrofoam ball stays in place. Now, even more than ever, because we don't have the glass to keep it in place. So we're going to make sure that it's locked in place with that glue. Now I'm going to take a layer of glue uh, or multi-purpose cement and go around the top of the styrofoam ball because what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a layer of the reindeer moss around the perimeter of the ball. So that way that ball is going to stay in place, not only with that multi-purpose cement, but also that reindeer moss is gonna keep it in place too. Now I'm going to take another layer of glue, put it on the top of the reindeer moss, but I'm just going to put it right in the middle because I'm going to make sure that our flowers stay in place. I don't want them to fall out and I usually do that just to make sure things, you know, don't move. And there we are. 
just like that, it's ready to go. I think it looks amazing. What do you think? I absolutely love these flowers and I think they look amazing in these glass jars. I love this project. It's super fun. So I decided to put these into my mom's guest room on the windowsill. She has black curtains in there and they really accent her curtains and they look beautiful. I couldn't be happier with the way that this turned out. My mom absolutely loves them and she wants me to make her more <laughs> to fit around her house. And I definitely plan on doing that because it's so easy. It makes me feel great that I can upcycle these jars. I really enjoy upcycling and taking things that might have been thrown away otherwise and turning them into something beautiful. Until next time, remember, the only limitation is your imagination.